everyone, it's Maddie Cartwheel back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be doing another trombone video, but this is going to be like the first one. But this in this one, I'm going to be taking my time, doing details and stuff like that. It's going to be a better one. So, um, yeah, that's going to be, it's going to be better. But anyway, if you want to see my other trombone video, if you'd like to see it, uh, it will be over here, over here, somewhere around here. And this idea was recommended by my good friend Katie. And my friend Lindsay, her mom has a Facebook page called Homemade um, for Hills or something like that. Forgot the title, but she makes her mom makes a bunch of good crafts over there. So if you would like to check that out, you're more than welcome to. And also, um, Homemade by Hills, that's what it's called, Homemade by Hills. So if you'd like to check it out, you're more than welcome to. So today I'm going to be talking about my trombone. Like I said that before, thank you for 90 subscribers. Uh, yeah, it means a lot to me. I'm going to do something special for you guys, so stay tuned for that. And try to help me reach 100 by the end of this month. Really mean the world to me. And yeah, that's all I have to say from here. So what I like about the case is that, you know, you got this strap that goes around like this. It goes in between these uh, hooks right here. And then this is kind of like a guitar if you think about it. And I love these snaps. How secure it is. All trombones are different sizes. So mine is called Arisco Craft. Arisco Craft. I don't know. Batch Arisco Craft. It's... You know, it's a decent size. Now we got three pieces of trombone. We got the horn, we got the slide, and most importantly, the mouthpiece. And speaking of mouthpiece, you do not want to uh, push too hard on it while you're playing because it can get stuck. But luckily, most teachers have a tool for it. That puts pressure on it and leads it right up. Now I have to something to say about the slide oil. Now, there are some slide oils, which I had no idea about this until I got this certain brand of slide oil, that can be a valve and slide oil. So if there was a valve and slide oil, you can use it for like trumpets or uh, baritones or whatever. So, which that's what I find cool. But this is just regular slide oil. And then this one is the valve and slide oil, if you guys didn't see that, which I find it very cool. And this pockets have some uh, belt, like these are strings, but they're we used to call them belts, like if you could play like a correct, if you could play like a certain piece, short piece of music right, or like get the correct notes, you got these different colors and we call them belts. And then there's a piece of music from seventh grade in there. And this, um, I got this idea from my girl Tabby, she's my friend. She actually told me one time that uh, rubbing alcohol and mouth and mouthwash, you put in the bottle, you shake it up, and it can be a good cleaner for your instrument. So if you want to try that, you're more than welcome to. Now here's also the features of the trombone. I like how it slides, but when you put the slide on, put it like that, and then slide it, and it'll get all in that slide. And this is called the spit valve. It sounds nasally. You can just flow into it a little bit and just let it all out. I don't know what this is, but it feels feels weird. Ooh, yeah, you like that, don't you? <laughs> just kidding. Anyway. This is trombo video, don't get horny on this. Anyway, so this part is the part where you want to go when you tune. Most people's tuner is by the mouthpiece, but brass instruments are a little bit different. We have slides, but this instrument has like, I'm going to say two slides. Different trombones have different slides, like the bigger ones. Hopefully it can transfer over to those soon. Now, if you're too flat, I'm pretty sure you push up. If you're too um, sharp, you push in, I'm pretty sure. I might mix those two up. I have trouble um, uh, with uh, tonguing and keeping my cheeks in, but to keep your cheeks in, you just gotta kind of go like an M and then blow. So basically, uh, I'm gonna go over the positions. This is first position, this is second position, this is third position, this is fourth position. I always learn that fourth position as I bell. This is fifth position, this is sixth position, and this is seventh position. I have used seventh position for the song Mars that we did for our field show it's called Rock Force from the Sun. I love that theme. And I'm going to play some, what I do, I'm going to say, mention this first, but what I do like about the trombone is that uh, you can, that whenever you are the melody, most of the time you're the background, but when you are the melody, you sound, like it sounds great because you don't expect it, it kind of just like brass, it just, just sounds better than the trumpets, I'm sorry, like you just, you just don't expect it, it sounds cool, or it sounds like you're in the brushings of the wind, I don't know, it just sounds dark and spooky, so... Basically, I'm going to play you some melodies, and this one's called The Race Car. I love it. <laughs>
Try to stay safe. Try to stay safe, not stay safe. Say that. Anyway, uh, try to stay safe during all this. Be relaxed. Watch my videos. Thank you for watching and clicking on this video. Stay chill, cartwheel gangers. I love you guys. And yeah, stay safe out there. I already said that. So 